here again now we are going to apply the next statistical treatment that is comparing two or more means from normally distributed data using the ANOVA or the analysis of variance in ANOVA the number to calculate is the F value let's proceed right away to the exercises uh, I'll explain while we solve so the problem reads in an experiment group of plants were treated with different fertilizers the height in feet of the plants were recorded is there a statistically significant difference in the mean height among the four groups of plants at alpha 0 0.05 so we have four groups or four setups the plants treated with fertilizer a b c and control or without the fertilizer so these are the heights of the plants now let's have the null hypothesis so our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the means among the groups in other words the mean height of the plants for the four groups are just equal so for the alternative hypothesis there is at least one significant difference between the means among the group of plants in other words there is at least one pair of means that are not equal example a and b b and c c and control or a and c etc next we need to add another table so let's remove first the hypothesis so our new table requires the values of n and the group mean n is the number of plants for each of the groups so we have the values six for a six plants for a five for b five for b and six for the control now for the mean you have the following values now how did we come up with those values let's have the 3.17 so we simply add all the heights of the plants in fertilizer a divided by six that is 3.17 17 so the same for uh, the same procedure for bc and control so for b for example you have to add all the heights here divided by five next we need to find the overall mean so you can simply add all the heights divided by 22 which is the total number of plants or you can apply this equation so it's simply n times the mean of all the the groups divided by the total number of plants so it's simply uh, 6 times 3.17 plus 5 times 4.80 plus 5 times 4.40 plus 6 times 3 this is the expression divided by 22 and so the result is 3.77 therefore the overall mean is 3.77 next this is the ANOVA table so we have the following columns the first column is the source of variation so between treatments and error and these are the equations for the sum of squares or SS we have SSB, sum of squares between treatments. This is the equation, which will be explained later. And for the SSE, which means sum of squares of error. And SST is for the total, sum of squares total. And for the degrees of freedom, you have K stands for the number of treatments, the number of groups, minus 1. N stands for the total case, uh, the total cases or the total number of plants minus the number of groups and for the total degrees of freedom the total number of plants minus one we have the mean square msb for the between so msb is simply ssb divided by the degrees of freedom mse is the sse divided by the degrees of freedom and for the f value it's msb divided by mse so let's go back to the data we have to compute for the SSB so the equation is the sum of uh, mean minus the overall squared so it's simply for the SSB you have 6 times 3.17 minus 3.77 squared we 
take these numbers from fertilizer A. So, 6 is the end times the quantity 3.17 minus 3.77. You have to subtract first before squaring it uh, and then multiply it by 6. So, the same procedure for fertilizer B. You have 5 times the quantity 4.80 minus 3.77. Again, you have to subtract before squaring it and then multiply it with 5. So, do the same procedure for the rest of the data. And so, the final result is 13.0064. That is our SSB. Next is we have to compute for SSE, but we have to come up with another table. So, we will be calculating numbers or values for each of the columns. So, for fertilizer A, you have here the 3 as the X and then the mean earlier. So, for the first entry, it is 3 minus 3.17 squared. So, the result is 0 0.0289. For fertilizer B, it's 6 minus the mean for B, which is 4.80, and then the result will be squared. So that's 1.44. So the same procedure for the rest of the groups. So let's complete our table. So you simply add all the, the numbers and then add all for the SSE. So, if you add all the total, that is the value of the SSE. So, now, let's complete the ANOVA table. So, for the sum of squares or SS, we simply place those we calculated earlier. So, this is the SSB, which is 13.0064, and the SSE, 22.83. You add them together to come up with 35. 84. For the degrees of freedom, we have the following results. So again, for groups, 22 total number of plants. For the MS square, it's simply the SS divided by the degrees of freedom. So 13.0064 divided by 3, you have 4.335. So for the MSE, you have 22.83 divided by 18, so 1.268. And finally, we have the F value. So, it's simply MSB divided by the MSE. So, 4.335 divided by 1.268. So, the uh, calculated F is 3.42. Next, we have to find the critical value of F. And the critical value is determined using the degrees of freedom. So, remember the F calculated is obtained let's go back is obtained by dividing the MSB by the MSE so this is the numerator and this is the denominator so the degrees of freedom for the numerator is 3 for the denominator is 18 so this is the table you have here the 3 and the 18 so when the two points meet uh, we have the pair of numbers the 3.16 and the 5.09 so the first entry uh, the first entry is the critical value of f 4.05 and the bold faced number is 4.01 so we will be using the 0 0.05 or the 3. 16. So this is the F distribution uh, graph or curve. So the critical value is 3.16. So same. Uh, same as uh, what we did in t-test. So this represents the region of acceptance and this is for the region of uh, rejection. So, in general, if your calculated F value in a test is larger than the F statistic, you can reject the null hypothesis. So, we will compare the calculated with the critical. Our calculated value is 3.14, which is greater than the critical. Therefore, we can say that the calculated F value of 3.42 is larger than the critical F value of 3.16, then the null hypothesis can be rejected in favor of alternative hypothesis. 
Now, since HO is rejected in favor of H1, a post hoc test is necessary to determine which pair or pairs of means are significantly different. Now, post hoc is not part of our review. It's another statistical treatment or follow-up for the calculation of F. Now, how do we present the result? Okay, so we are also presenting the result using table. So, we have the first column, the the four treatments, the three fertilizer and the control, the number of samples in each group, and then the average or the mean height of the plants, the calculated T, the critical value, and the decision. It was to reject the hypothesis. But I want to emphasize that the presentation is different when uh, SPSS is utilized because the acceptance or rejection of HO is based on SIG values.